Hi, this is Dr. Selvi, biochemist working in the Metropolis Healthcare Limited, Chennai. Today we'll be discussing on how to ensure a healthy pregnancy. So pregnancy is a very precious moment in a woman's life. To cross the pregnancy period without any hurdle, it's a boon for both the mother and the baby. To ensure a healthy pregnancy, we need to uh, take few do's and don'ts and we need to, to follow this, these do's which are very important. So do's such as the, uh, uh, the foremost in these, the full family support which will give the babe, mother and the baby a positive and a calm mental health. The next comes the uh, modifications, the lifestyle modifications which need to be integrated throughout her pregnancy. So well, let us go into our dunes like you have to have per day eat 5 or 6 well balanced meals each day and eat a lot of veggies, fibers, fish which are all not to toxic because few fishes will have mercury we have to avoid that and have a drink a plenty of water which is very very important and then apart from this diet we also have to take a prescribed uh, vitamins such as the vitamins like calcium i mean the vitamins like folate calcium rich food all these things so now we have seen on diet and we have seen on the uh, pre vitamins Apart from this, you have you have to wear a comfortable clothing and the shoes. Avoid an unnecessary travel and heavy lifting, and then track your weight gain, which is very important throughout the pregnancy period. Have enough sleep and uh, mild physical activities. The don'ts which definitely which you have to follow is the you have to avoid the alcohol. You have to avoid the smokes. You can uh, reduce the caffeine, you can avoid the soft cheeses which will cause an infections and don't ever have overeating. You have to have exactly the calories, the additional with the 300 to 500 calories per day that will do and avoid over the counter medications. So you can reduce the medication. So why you have to ensure all these things is you have to uh, prevent certain complications which are coming throughout your pregnancy. So the co common complications in the pregnancies are high blood pressure which will come across gestational diabetes, the preeclampsia, the preterm labor, the miscarriage, anemia and infections and thyroid disorders. All these are certain com common um, complications which are during the pregnancies. Okay and then now all these complications how you can prevent is first and foremost is be aware of all these complications and you have to have attend each and every appointments which have been regularly fixed with the doctor follow the instructions which are suggested by the doctor perform all the screening tests which have been prescribed by the doctor and then what are the signs usually you used to come across during this so that immediately you can get our, uh, alerted during this pregnancy is these are all unhealthy signs like vaginal bleeding like uh, convulsions or fits if you have any severe uh, headache or if you have fever and and then severe abdominal pains you and any other fast or difficulty breathing so when you come across all these things you have to be immediately got awarded and to ensure your healthy pregnancies there are certain uh, screening tests which has to be gone through your pregnancy period during your trimesters initially you have to start with a complete blood count and then blood grouping which is very important you can try to find out how where you are what is your anemic condition and then your urine routine, infectious serology parameters, if you have any rubella infectious things, it, it can also affect the baby. And just as we told, like gestational diabetes, so you have to screen for your fasting, postprandial, and then HPA1C. And if you have any previous thyroid history or even during the gestational time, you can get, so you have to screen for the thyroid function test 
and if you have any history of the HB variant study, so which will be seen can be identified in that HB variant. And then apart from this, you have to definitely go with the study for the trisomy syndrome, which is which can be identified and which has been affecting the baby. So you have to screen for the trisomy screening to be performed, which is between the 11 to 13 weeks. During this uh, trimester, trimester, first trimester, you have to screen for the trimacy, trisomy, you have to screen for the preeclampsia and then you can have to do for some quadrupole screening. All these things will help you to diagnose the baby's uh, trisomy condition which is a general mental retardation condition of the baby. And if any risk is being identified in all these parameters, you have to go with the further test called NIPT, which is a non-invasive prenatal diagnostic testing, which can be helpful for confirmatory of the abnormalities in the fetus and then a karyotyping study. So, to overall conclude, to have, ensure a healthy pregnancy, you have to take care of your diet, follow the physician, don't take unwanted medicines and then do all the screening tests and then have a good support from your family. Avoid overweighted throughout the pregnancy period. Thank you.